Hey guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome to my long shot tutorial in Ultimate Team. Now today guys I'm going to be showing you how to score some epic long shots in Ultimate Team. You guys have been asking for this for so long, I'm finally getting round to it so let's not waste any more time and let's get straight into it guys. So this is one of the first things you guys need to do, you need to make sure that your settings are set correctly. I mean me personally I'm not 100% sure if there is a certain setting that needs to be changed to a certain setting for these long shots to work but I'm pretty sure that if you have them set to manual then everything is going to be a hell of a lot more complicated guys so these are my settings and um, if you set them to this then I can guarantee you that they will work because they work with with me and I have my settings like this so set your settings something similar to this um, I mean what else what have we got shot assistance is one of the main ones I'm guessing is set to assisted um, what else is there I think that's probably the main one so have your settings something uh, set to like this guys and they should work basically so once you've done that let's get into the actual tutorial on how to score these long shots right guys once you're in the game I'm going to be showing you how to take the long shots with left footed players first and we'll get on to right footed players in just a second but what you're going to want to do um, to make the most of long shots in this year's ultimate team you're going to want to use them on the left hand side of the pitch so for the very first example guys we're going to be looking at a goal that I scored with the team of the season Robin now as we all know Robin is a right winger so you're going to need to pause the game when the game has started and moving over to the left wing position do the exact same thing with pretty much every other left footed player guys so once you have moved the player over to the left hand side of the pitch you're going to want to get them roughly in this position guys roughly where the circle is doesn't have to be exactly in this circle as you get used to shooting in this game and you know taking long shots on a regular basis you will pretty much know how to shoot from any distance and any position on the pitch but for be beginners this is where you're going to want to start off being guys so what you're going to want to do you're going to want to get the player facing the far post and you're going to want to move the, the left stick to the top right hand corner so you're going to want to move the left stick pointing towards the far goal as well so that is just to basically round it up you're going to want to get the player inside around the area where the circle is you're going to want to point the left stick to the far post and you want to get the player looking towards the far post as you can see what I am doing with Robin now and then once you've put all those together obviously when you shoot the ball you're going to want to put four to four and a half bars of power and eventually you will be able to hit the ball like this now you're going to want to be careful because you don't want to put too little power otherwise it'll go across the floor and you don't want to put five bars otherwise the player will sky the ball a million miles in the air now let's take a look at a goal that I did score with a right footed player now as exactly the same as a left footed player obviously except opposite so with a right footed player you're going to want to use them on the right hand side of the pitch and you're going to want to get them roughly again in the same position or same distance away from the goal roughly around 30 to 35 yards away obviously uh, because they're long shots you want them to be quite far away from the goal uh, you're going to want to point the left trigger to the opposite far post so with a left footed player it's the right hand side of the post with a right footed player it's going to be the left post so you're going to want to point the stick to the the left stick to the far post again you're going to want to get the player facing towards the same post as you're pointing the left trigger again you're going to want to put about four to four and a half bars of power in the shot and then just unleash the shot and then hopefully if you've done everything right the ball will curl through the air into the top corner and the keeper will not stand a chance basically so let me go through another left footed shot for you guys just to give you another idea on what to do so this time I'm going to be showing you a goal that I scored with one of the best long shot takers in the whole game in my opinion the team of the season Gareth Bale now he is left footed so obviously you're going to need to move him over to the left hand side of the pitch get him in roughly the same position as I have already showed you around 30 to 35 yards away with the left footed players obviously if you're playing on this side of the pitch instead of moving the left trigger up we're going to need to move the left trigger down so obviously on the left hand side of the pitch is going to be the far post so the, the 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 very far post you're going to want to point the left trigger diagonally down to the right and again same amount of power four and a half 
well, four to four and a half bars of power, unleash the shot. If you've done everything right, guys, you will see the ball just curl through the air into the top right-hand corner of the net. And basically, that's it, guys. I mean, it's not exactly the hardest thing to do. I mean, I will show you some more examples. As you can see here, you're going to want to get them roughly in the same distance and same position every single time. And once you do them regularly every single game, it will become something that you do without thinking you know you do it so many times you will do it automatically without thinking and without realizing you will start scoring them on a game to game basis and basically like i've already mentioned it'll be some it'll become something that you do without thinking basically now that's going to wrap up this video please i do apologize if it's, this is not the best of tutorials i am starting out that this is one only with one of the very few tutorials that i have done this is the best that i can do please leave any comments that you do have in the comment section down below and i will do my utmost best to help you guys out on anything that i did happen to miss in this video i do think that i have included everything that i needed to include um, and that's going to wrap up this video i really do hope this helped you guys score the long shots that you're going to want to score and score the long shots that i do in pretty much every squad builder and player review that i do make like I've already said, if you do have a question and you're stuck on something, let me know in the comment section down below and I will do my best to help you out. Leave a like if this did help you out. It really, really does help me out. Subscribe for more FIFA content to come in the future, guys. And as always from me, please take care and I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.